YouTube. It is March 3rd, Sunday, 2024, which means it's World Wildlife Day. So I don't think there's anything better to do than go try to shoot some wildlife and see what kind of pictures I can get. I am in Spokane, Washington, headed to Painted Rocks right now, which is a pretty popular spot for hikers, and it's a beautiful day outside. I'm a little bit worried that there will be a lot of foot traffic which might scare away animals but it's a great place to see wildlife here in a second I'll show you what gear I'm taking along with me I've got the upper ghillie suit on link will be in the description for this it's super affordable got it off Amazon and we'll see what we can capture today I mean really I would absolutely love to get some pictures of an owl or possibly even an eagle eagle season's kind of over for the most part I do see them every once in a while here and there but yeah, I'm excited. I'll probably stay out for a few hours until the sun's about to go down. Hopefully get some cool drone shots and yeah, we'll see you there. All right, this is what I will be bringing with me. I got my A6700 with my zoom lens, got my drone. Got a few different straps, not only for my camera, but for my GoPro, the chest mount, and the head mount. A few different tripods in here, extra batteries. Of course, we gotta stay strapped with an Apple. And you know what? Shout out to Prime. My kid put me onto these, and they are delicious and way healthier than Gatorade. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start. I decided not to bring the tripod today. I'm always bringing that thing because I personally love taking videos of wildlife. And without it, you just can't get some stable video. But you know what? I'm kind of excited to just go handheld and see what I can get. I was here last year and I managed to get this incredible video of this little baby owl. And ever since then, I've been addicted to owls, basically. Haven't seen one since, but I've always wanted to. There's a chipmunk right there. It's a cute little thing. Let's see if I can't. Oh, where'd it go? I see it. Oh, it just got away from me. I was just about to snap my photo. It might be coming back. Oh, I love to see it, man. Thank God for warmer weather. I'm so close to getting a shot. It just keeps on scurrying away. There we go. Got it. All right, let's keep going. And shout out to my buddy, Derek Butler. His Instagram is Hikester. I'll link all of his stuff down in the description below. He is the best wildlife photographer I have ever seen in my life. And I feel incredibly lucky to be able to know him. I used to work with him back when I was an electrician. He posted a photo saying it was world wildlife today. And to be honest, I didn't even know it was. So I figured why not grab my camera and go, uh, well, shoot a video, get some wildlife pictures if possible, because it's a beautiful day out. Unfortunately, it's not the best time of day to be able to get some pictures of these animals. They're not typically out at this time of day. What is it? I think it's about two o'clock right now, but I'm gonna try to make my way up to the top of Indian Painted Rocks because it's gorgeous up there and it's gonna take a minute for me to get up there anyway. I'm sure I'll see something along the way. I might as well check all trails before I waste a bunch of time. Okay, I'm not super familiar with how this app works. Let me do this. All right, I figured it out based off the app. I do gotta go backwards a bit where I came from. If I had kept going and didn't check, it would have taken me like probably two or three hours to get up there the other way. 
see a deer right over this hill. Oh, he just looked at me. There's even a car right there. There's a road apparently, but that's the direction I have to go. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there staring at me. Probably can't see him because this GoPro is such fish-eyed, but let's get closer. All right. So far, I see three deer. And they're all staring at me right now. Just slowly approach them because I gotta go this way anyway. Let's see. Oh, there they go. All right. I need to cover some ground anyway. Hopefully you guys can see my phone. It says I'm super close to the trail, but I'm looking in front of me and I can't see shit. So you know what? I might have to just hike this mountain too, or this little hill. This bad boy is pretty steep. I know the GoPro does zero justice to just show how steep this hill actually is. I'll be there soon. Look how green this is. Wow. This is what Painted Rocks is known for. Just these really cool rock sculptures, basically. Icicles dripping. Wow. Trail's just right there, but let's check this out. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. My car is way down there down like two hills, three hills, by the river. I took a massive shortcut. Took a toll on my legs though. Pretty damn windy up here. Well, let's keep going. It was a nice little spot to take a little break and catch my breath. In fact, I see a dead tree way over there with a big bird on it. I'm gonna walk straight there. Hopefully I can catch it in time before it flies away. No way, you guys. That's the tree right there. Literally 10 seconds ago, he was up there and he's gone now. I have no idea where he went, but you know what? That's just how wildlife goes. He probably saw me coming with them hawk eyes. It probably was a hawk. It looked like one. I don't think it was a bald eagle or nothing, but it's all right though. It is what it is. Holy cow, I've never seen a stump like that. It's 
hollow on the other side. That's crazy looking. Huh. All right, well, I'm almost to an overlook. Those few chipmunks at the bottom and deer, they had me stoked, but unfortunately, haven't really seen much wildlife since. I've been being pretty damn quiet when I'm off camera and keeping my head on a swivel, but I'm just enjoying myself anyway. Going for a nice hike. Something I want to mention real quick is my camera. I got the A6700 and I really want to be able to find some birds up here because I want to test its AI auto-focusing chip. Um, yeah, I know it sounds pretty high tech, but I haven't really had a lot of opportunities to test it with photography. Like I said earlier, I really do enjoy doing video more. It's just, for me, it gives me more emotion. But yeah, I just want to be able to test this chip out and hopefully I can find me a hawk or an eagle possibly and get it mid-flight. And you just press this autofocus on button and it, for the most part, locks onto them like crazy and does a great job. But shoot, I am almost to a spot. And I'm going to try to throw up the drone. The wind keeps picking up and dying down, so it's pretty calm right now. Oh, there's the trail right there. Hell yeah. Holy shit, boys. Holy shit. I just realized I don't have my drone controller. All right, well. <laughs> Forgot my drone controller. That's crazy. I can't believe it. I even did like a triple checklist to make sure I had everything, but as a photographer, always triple check to make sure you got your SD cards. And for the most part, that's what I was doing. That's all right. Not throwing that bad boy up. <laughs> I'm either gonna go over there or onto that peak. Shoot, possibly even up there. Go take a little break, eat my apple. See how good Costco apples actually are. A lot colder than I thought it would be up here. At first when I was hiking those hills I was sweating and regretting wearing so many layers but now I'm glad I did. Not really seeing too much wildlife so let's make it worth it. We'll go up there to the highest point, have a look around and probably start making our way back down because sunset will be in about two hours from now. It'll take me at least an hour to get down. just pointed at it to show you guys and I scared that bird away. That would have been a fantastic shot. Damn it. Man, I need some practice with this wildlife stuff. Like I said, I just picked up the lens last year. I'll get the hang of it. If I got any wildlife professionals watching me right now, leave me some tips in the comments. I would appreciate that. But man, that would have been a fantastic shot. It was right here on this branch. Yes! 
And just like that, I got the shot that I wanted that made this whole entire trip worth it. He's still right here, same bird I was just talking about and scared away. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness, that made me stoked. The feeling that that gives me is incredible. I can't wait to check those out on the computer. I think they turned out fantastic, but we'll see. Whew. <laughs> For anyone who isn't into wildlife or photography, probably doesn't know what feeling I'm talking about, but holy cow, that was awesome. I am super happy with that. It's just such soft lighting right now, and the colors of that bird were gorgeous. Wow, okay. It's just like a rush of adrenaline that gets me motivated for the rest of the trip down, you know. I'm excited. That was awesome. bird was coming at me it's circling around me right now it's just a crow or a raven hopefully that's not a bad sign um whoa really gonna scare me like that bro Life day. It's a beauty. My hands are freezing, I'm not gonna lie. Not even sure if I want to eat my apple up here. It might just make me colder. Daylight savings is almost here, so that will give us that extra hour of daylight, and I've been looking forward to that all winter long. I am so desperate for warm weather. I just want to enjoy some sunny weather and not be freezing like I am right now. But I'm glad I made it to the top. It's pretty cool being up here and seeing the actual shape of this river and how many just like S turns it has in it. Did I just see snow? Okay, that cloud's looking gnarly over there. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna start working my way down. I'm surprised I haven't even seen anyone up here to be honest. goes to deer. Oh, there's some more people coming up as well. How's it going? Good. I'm excited to get back up there to the top once weather gets warmer and pretty much just hang out up there like because there's so many dead trees up there they make a perfect composition for a shot plus there's tons of just deer up there in general so it's a really good spot for wildlife photography 
but yeah as you guys can see the sun's almost down it's getting really cloudy so I'm gonna get back and get some food me and probably start editing the video I'm glad I got out today I had some fun tomorrow's Monday so we'll see how much I can get out during the week gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it just a little hike and some wildlife uh, I haven't looked at the photos yet I'm sure you've seen them by now since you're watching the video but I'm really excited to go home and check out that bluebird photo not sure what kind of bird it was I think like I said I had an orange chest or something like that but don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this I'm all about the outdoors whether it be traveling wildlife I also have my commercial drone license, so I might make another channel if anyone's interested in that and just cover basically commercial drone jobs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one and get outside.